I have been at war with the rest of the world for the past two weeks, yes! And I chose Ohio because everyone thinks Ohio doesn't exist. <laughs> Time to prove them wrong by conquering everyone around me! I've already conquered some territory. Kentucky and Virginia are now Lower Ohio, and nobody is safe. Not even Canada. Ontario shall now be known as Upper Ohio. <laughs> the news are loving our invasion. The U.S. would definitely be a better place if everything was a bit more like California. So I picked California and decided to invade the rest of the country. Hmm. I'm not having the greatest start, to be honest. Not only did I not conquer any of Nevada's territory, I'm the one getting invaded right now. I'm teaming up with Oregon. Maybe they can still save me. Ah, uh, now they're getting invaded as well. How did they get so many guns and tanks so fast? Ah, it all makes sense now. How many times have you come across an ad on social media where the game looks super cool, but then you start downloading and playing it and it's nothing like the ads, right? Well, lucky for you, that's not the case with Last Fortress. This game is exactly like the ads. Amazing graphics, great storyline, and most of all, it has the perfect balance of excitement, adventure, strategy, and critical thinking. This game is called Last Fortress Underground. Try it and prove me wrong. How many times have you come across an ad on social media where the game looks super cool, but then you start downloading and playing it and it's nothing like the ads, right? Well, lucky for you, that's not the case with Last Fortress. This game is exactly like the ads. Amazing graphics, great storyline, and most of all, it has the perfect balance of excitement, adventure, strategy, and critical thinking. This game is called Last Fortress Underground. Try it and prove me wrong. los países más difíciles de jugar en Supremacy 1914. Cuando comienza a salir en Supremacy, todos los países son enemigos potenciales, así que hay que tener cuidado al escoger el país que quieras jugar. Chile es particularmente retador. Es un país con un área muy larga y delgada y lo hace vulnerable a ataques por los lados y solamente tiene una provincia a lo ancho. O sea que si alguien más conquista tus provincias, solo las vas a poder recuperar de un solo ángulo. Cuba es otro país difícil de jugar. Está justo al lado de Estados Unidos y estás completamente aislado de la tierra principal. 